Yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to my channel, this is Reddy from Top Notch Programmer and today I'm back with another video. Today I will show you how to get a virtual private server or a VPS 100% for free. All you have to do is just to follow me step by step, it's gonna be very easy and quick. You can get a Linux server, a Windows server or any server you want. Without losing time, let's start with this video, but before starting, please make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Also, don't forget to smash the like button so you can break the YouTube algorithm and I can get some more views. Okay. Okay, with all the said, let's jump right into this video. Welcome back and let's start with this. So let's go to computer. Okay, I am here on Google and we are going to use the Azure platform. If you don't know what Azure is, Azure is a cloud platform just like AWS or like Google Cloud Platform. You can create servers, you can host apps, um, websites and you can get a lot of services. And we're gonna get Azure free uh, $200 credit and we can use it for creating our virtual private server. So to get this credit, you have to go to azure.com. So I just search on Google Azure and we go to this link. It's a cloud computer server uh, created by Microsoft. It's very popular and a lot of developers use it. So we, get, we are going to get the free uh, $200 credit for 30 days and uh, we can get the virtual private server and a lot of more things from Azure. So we can we have to click the try Azure for free. Now click on start free. Okay, I'm already logged in with another account but I'm going to sign out and show you how we can uh, create a new account and get this uh, free credit. If you don't have a Microsoft account, all you have to do is just to go to Microsoft.com and click sign in or create a new account so you can get an account. I have already an account here, it's uh, this one, but I'm not registered on Azure with it. So I'm going to show you how to register on Azure. So click sign in, just put your password. Okay, this is the registration page. Uh, this might look different for you because if you are new and you didn't put the information, it will ask you to put your name, your uh, to create a password, to put your location, your zip code and some other information, but I already put it them and now I have clicked next. So after clicking next, uh, this page will open and you have to open the identity verification by card and you have to put your card here, your credit card. Uh, but uh, don't worry about this because uh, it will not charge any money in your account and uh, not if you don't buy a subscription. So don't worry about this, you just put your card details here. So I'm just going to put my card, so my name. And I'm going to pause the video so I can put my uh, information and I will be back soon. Okay, I just filled my uh, credit card information, my number and the expiring date and I clicked the next and it accepted it. So now I have to check these two boxes and click on sign up button. So it's very, very easy and all this is all for free. There's not going to be any charge in your account. So it's just for verification and nothing else. Now it's confirming my informations. Okay, after confirmation, this is the dashboard of the Azure platform. And to create a vir virtual private server, all you have to do is just to uh, click this plus button. And after clicking this one, you can see that we have Windows Server 2016 Data Center, we have Ubuntu Server and Web Apps, SQL Database and a lot of more services. But today I'm showing you how to get a Windows Server because everyone uses them and everyone is in need of a Windows Server. So now this page will open and you have to uh, click the uh, the resource group here so you have to click create new and you can put a name like windows okay i have to choose another one windows 
my name and here you can put a name for your uh, virtual machine so I'll just put win and we have the server here we can choose another server we have Debian, Ubuntu, Oracle, Linux Data Center 2019, 2012, and Windows 10 Pro. Also, you can get a Windows 10 and a lot of more things. So, but uh, Windows Server 2016 is the best for running bots, for running apps, and uh, services like this one. So you ha you can see that is uh, eighty five point forty one dollars per month. But don't worry about this because this is with this will be paid by free uh, free two thousand two hundred dollars credit that you got from Azure. So below we ha we can put a username here, like just put your name, and you can choose a password. This password needs to be long with lower with uppercase and with numbers and symbols too. Okay, let's put this password again. Nice. So uh, now we can leave this RDP and glitch and sync. Okay, I can leave this empty. So now we can go to disks. Disks is the the space that we want in our server, so I'm just gonna leave it like it is, and click next again. This is the network here. You can choose the speed of the network and more things. We have management. We you can leave all of these like default options because there is nothing important. Click next again to tags and now it's review and create okay so I have a valid uh, failed here and this the problem here is with my subscription because I have already finished my subscription and this is why it's not working for me but uh, for you if you have if you have still you have $200 credit that you get for free from Azure you can click review and create and it, it will be created successfully and after creating it you have to uh, get the IP from that shows it, it's a it's an IP that uh, Azure gives you after creating the virtual server and you can use this IP to to open your virtual server on, on RDB so RDB is a program that opens the the connects you with a server and uh, you can I will show you how to get an RDP uh, if you have Windows Pro Windows 10 Pro in your computer you have default as a default in your computer but if you don't have it you can download RDP from or remote okay I have to search in, in uh, in, you, you have to go to Microsoft Store and search for a remote or just RDP and search and you have to download this app that is from Microsoft okay so I'm going to launch it because it's already installed and here is the app Here you have to put your IP and the password. So I have some servers here, uh, but I'm going to create a new one to show you. And here you have to the first field, you have to put your IP that Azure gives you after reviewing and creating your virtual private server. And for I'm putting just an, one as example here, just a dummy IP. And after uh, putting your IP, you have to create a new user. And to create a user, just click the plus button and put the name of the user that you put it here on Azure. So if you remember the name here, 
this is the username you have to put username here and the password is this one so put your password here and this is a display name so it's optional you can put leave it empty and now click save and now for this uh, IPM for this server it will always use this username to log in so after uh, putting your username and user information just click save again and here is the new server so to connect to the server just click uh, these three buttons you know, no, just uh, click on the server I'm sorry just click on the server and now it will connect to the desktop it will not work now because I have put it just a dummy uh, just a dummy uh, IP just to show you how you can do this because I already finished my $200 credit from Azure so uh, you uh, it, but for you uh, it will open directly the Windows Server and you can use it for anything you want you can use it for uh, running apps to run apps to run your bots to run websites to run a lot of more things if you are a devel developer you can use it very simple so this was my tutorial for today I hope you like this video uh, I know it's kind of uh, confusing because I finished my uh, my uh, credit here on Azure so I can't show you uh, I can show you how I really really it really really works but I hope you understand it how it works and how you can also get for free just don't worry about your credit card or your infos because it will not charge any money on your account so it's, it's all complete free okay this was my video for today I hope you like this video please make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel because I'll be uploading a lot of, of more videos like this one and I will be back in another video uh, very very soon so please stay tuned to the channel and see you in the next videos